response to a couple of requests online, we're going to do a, an installation of the um, firing pin safety on this Glock 26. Okay, this firearm already has, as you can see, many, many add-on accessories, including a titanium uh, firing pin safety. So we're not actually going to uh, replace the factory OEM safety. We're going to just show you how to get to it, uh, take it out, and then uh, reinstall it so you can see the process on that. Okay, so first thing is always, we're going to make sure that the firearm is safe. Okay. Now open up the uh, slide. Check to make sure that we have no uh, no rounds in the chamber, which you can see clearly we do not. Okay. I'm going to pull the trigger on that. Take the slide off, and we can set aside the lower. Okay, so the first thing we do is we remove the recoil spring assembly. We can set that to the side, after which we can remove the barrel. At this point, what we want to do is we want to remove the um, rear cover plate. What you want to do is you want to take your disassembly tool and insert it just under the firing pin where the spacer sleeve is and you want to apply downward pressure. At the same time, you want to use your thumb to slide off the rear cover plate. Okay, keep your thumb over the rear cover plate area of the slide and then release the pressure from the spacer sleeve. Okay. So now at this point you can see you have access to the spacer sleeve, the firing pin. You can just slide right out. Okay. Firing pin assembly you can set aside. Okay. And at this point you can also see your plunger assembly. So you can just actually just use your thumb to lift that out. Okay. So your plunger assembly is here. You could set that aside. At this point, all you have to do to remove the firing pin safe, and you can see that we in fact that, uh, we have a titanium uh, firing pin safety already installed. To remove that, all you have to do is apply pressure. Okay, apply pressure to the bottom of that, and your extractor will actually just fall right out. Okay. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it did fall right out, and here it is. And I okay, used so care because the uh, the firing pin safety spring is very, very small. You want to just turn it over and let it drop out into your hand. Okay. So now you can see firing pin safety. Okay. You can see how small that is. Okay. So that's it. So if you have, you know, your new uh, your new unit, your new uh, firing pin safety, you can go ahead and just reverse this process and just do the reassembly. So you can put your spring back into the safety itself. Very small part. It's a little hard to handle, but get used to it. You got the spring back in there. Drop that back into the slide. Apply some downward pressure to the safety. And at this point, you can just take your extractor and drop it back in, and then release the pressure from the uh, the safety itself, and you'll see that 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 keeps the extractor in place. At that at this point, you can just reinstall your plunger. Okay, make sure you don't put this in the wrong direction. You want to make sure the metal end. It's always with Glock. It's always keep in mind rule is metal to metal so you want to make sure the metal end is down against the metal extractor now you can reinstall your firing pin assembly we'll just slide right in okay 
So at this point, you're prepared to reinstall your rear cover plate. So what you want to do is take the rear cover plate, apply some downward pressure to the spacer sleeve, start to work that plate in. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Okay, so you get your plate, you got your rear cover plate worked in there, and you can see at the point that it's covering the spacer sleeve, but it's not covering the plunger as of yet. So what you want to do here is you want to use your uh, take down tool to apply some pre downward pressure to the plunger and then slide the plate over the plunger you'll hear it click once it bottoms out okay so that that assembly is back together looks good okay so now at this point you can just reinstall your barrel reinstall your coil spring assembly Now you can put your slide assembly back onto your lower by lining up the slots in your rear cover plate to the slots on the, uh, or the rail, I should call it, on the, uh, on the block. That'll slide right in. functions well. Good to go.